Welcome back to the channel guys. My god we're on a hike. We're on the way up. We are stopping this week at Halifax in Yorkshire. Why? Because we were intrigued by a certain pub stop over that we've seen yeah. on the internet that Mark found. And um, this weekend we're stopping at a pub called the Shears Inn. Some history behind this place. And what a fine that is, isn't it? Mm. Okay. We've just had a brilliant night's sleep. So we arrived last night just before dark and we went in the pub and we got some food and I had a burger, didn't I? And how big was that? It was, <laughs> it massive. was massive, huge. I couldn't finish it anyway, so. And I had a Mexican chicken and steak. <laughs> Was it a wrap? No, on a pitta. It's all like homemade pitta. Yeah, it's all homemade, but the food in this pub, I mean, it, it, it's busy today, this morning, isn't it? It was busy last night. Yeah, they do a cafe on a Saturday morning, uh, every morning bar Sunday, but the food is all homemade, guys. Oh, God, it's gorgeous. We're back in there tonight, so we'll show you a bit more in the Shears Inn tonight as well. So, if we survive getting at the top of this hill, because it's quite a steep hill on this cobbled road, uh, we'll show you what we find. Just when you thought you couldn't find any more steps. Quite a rocky step, look at that one. Yeah, it's where they used to sell and trade. Is was it cotton cloth? I don't know. I think it was cloth. I'll look into it when we get to the top of these stairs. I'm about to take my jumper off, aren't I? It's roasting. Roasting? I wouldn't say it's roasting today, Mark, but it's warmer than it has been in a long it's time. It's mild, isn't it? Yeah, it's about 14 degrees, and which is not very warm at all, but it is when you're carrying that heavy rucksack full of <laughs> stuff. So we're at Pease Hall now, and we've just noticed before we go in, if anyone's, if anyone's interested in this kind of thing, there's an industrial museum right next to it. There you a go. big red piece of industry there, look. Of industry? Is that what it is? Is that industry? So yeah, if you're into that kind of thing, the Calderdale Industry Museum is right next to Pease Hall where we're going to go and have a look round now. And it looks like in here today we've got all extra food markets on and stuff, which I'm quite happy about. Yeah, I bet you are. Just been looking up about Pease Hall and it opened in 1779 as um, somewhere from to sell the cloth because it was quite well known, Halifax for some reason. Cloth merchants used to come here and sell their goods. And then in 18... 1800s. Round about when you were born. <laughs> it turned into a fish and veg market. And now, this is what it looks like now. Vibrant, massive. And like Mark said, these tents aren't normally here, but these are the little shops all on these balconies oh, up here. There's absolutely loads and loads of little shops, independent traders. And to be honest, it, you, you can spend a full day here, especially now with all these extra stalls. But this, these stalls in the middle somewhat take it away. When you walk in here, when it's a nice day, yeah, you can hear your voice echoing all the, all the way around the walls, can't you? It's well, really they actually good. do concerts in here as well. I've seen a big stage in here, yeah. so it is massive. Like you say, it doesn't look as big today because it's a bit cluttered with these yeah. tents, but let's go and see what we can find. Oh, nice, aren't they? I bet you could roll away down the road with them. We were out for having some uh, afternoon tea in those, wouldn't it? There's a better view of the shops up there. Yeah? It's going to take us all day to get round here, isn't it? Yeah, it's going to take all day, I reckon. Better hurry up. I've left you for two minutes. What have you bought? Bag full of donuts. You have not. Should be brown, would you want? <laughs> Why, how much were it? Four quid. <laughs> it's big, lot. Oh my god, big! It's gigantic! That's why I don't leave you for too long walking around these stalls. They're made by somebody who's Italian apparently. Well, it's so. called Save a Slice of Italy. Oh, and look at the size that. of that. Yeah, it's as big as your face, that mark. Is that the only one size that they did? Yeah. Tell me all. Find your coat from the pub. And it's just starting to rain, isn't it, a little bit? Yay, true northerner fashion. So we better get cracking now and have a look around. Let's go and have a look around these stalls, shall we? And show you around. No. I don't think so. 
I just found this store behind us. Serbian food with a twist of English. We're doing something called mukalika. Oh what? Mukalika. Put it in the comments below if you know what mukalika is. Dragon's breath. Pretty nice then. But they're hot. I can't believe this boy, he's just had a massive donut. And now you're buying pork pies. Yeah, pork pies. They do a vegan one there, vegan steak, Lisa. But that she just said, pork pies, must be ate with mushy peas and gravy. All this, all this fair here. Now I call these bin lids. That's yes. what they're called up north, bin lids. Yeah. Not tea cakes, not baps. A sausage bin lid. Try and eat one of them first thing in the morning. You're gonna have to spend longer here. We just haven't got time today. We're gonna run out of time because we've booked the table at the pub for later on, haven't we? Where we parked up. Yeah, for another meal, but we've got loads of other things to show you as well, so let's crack on. The one place we wanted to find for you as well is a place called Borough Market, Halifax Borough Market. Yeah, so. It looks like some kind of, what do you call it? Not antique, eh, but. Vintage, uh, it, it, Victorian, I think it is. Victorian Market, so yeah. we found it. It is starting to rain, isn't it? So it's just time right now to come in here. Yeah, it's just started to rain, so. Oh, look at this. Market. Oh, what a shame they've got scaffolding up, you can't see the roof, Mark. Oh, yeah, I want to show you the roof because it's all like Victorian. It's got a light, built in light. Looks like what? It's got a built, built in light with eyes on. Oh, Solar yeah. light, it's quite really. Right? Oh, Mingo's. So, unfortunately, it looks like a, a bit of it's been restored, so we can't really show you. Yeah, there. We can't really show you as much as we wanted to. So yeah, it's, it looks like the roof's been restored, they scaffolded up in some areas and some of the upper le levels of it looks really old, mm. doesn't it? So. Very old. It's uh, nice to see all the stalls nice and full actually, so if you ever do come to Halifax, look for Borough Market because mm. there's a bit, bit of something for everyone here, isn't there? Yeah, shall we see if we can get a butty now? So we've come out of the market hall and it's uh, started to get sunny again, Lisa, hasn't it? Yeah. Well, it's changed, it's, doesn't it? This. It was raining hard a few minutes ago, everywhere's wet through, but the sun's back out, so we'll take that. So we're having a look at where else it's worth going to have a look at now, in Halifax. Well, <laughs> we've we've struck a dud again, haven't we? We've yeah, been we in uh, Poundland, yeah. looking for paper plates. None. So where are we going to try now? We'll go, yeah. Oh yeah, let's Wilco. have a look in Wilco's and see if we can find some in there. Yeah, for those, those of you who are looking, viewing from America and not in UK, Wilco is like a general purpose hardware, DIY, food store, a bit of everything, isn't it? It's a bit like Poundland. But on steroids. No, bombed out again. Still no pep plates. Don't know what's going on again. Success. No, I found plastic cups and plastic knives and forks oh, and paper no straws. We're trying to go plastic free, aren't we? Oh well, let's crack on. So we're trying to go plastic free and not use less detergent by washing up all the time by using paper plates. You just can't get them. We're trying um, as best. And then when we don't need any, we always see them everywhere. Yeah, every I do shop. have people messaging us saying, there's some in this shop, there's some at that shop, they've got plenty. Every time we need them, we can never get them. Mm. Look at this, Lisa. Oh, look at that for that pub. Look at this bike at window. Yamaha. Ha. Is it a biker's pub or something? I don't know. It's... Anyone know what model that is? Put it in the description if you can see it, because uh, I haven't got a clue. Oh, it's a Yamaha. It clearly says that, doesn't it? But it's, not, it's not very big, is it, size-wise? It's a weird thing to have in a pub window, isn't it? It's been restored, hasn't it? Like? Union Cross Hotel, if you want to come and have a look at that. 
We're just heading over to this like newish bit now, aren't we? Trinity, it's called. Have a look at this. You've heard of Pound Bakery and Pound Land. <laughs> look at this. Pound Tan. Tanning for less. <laughs> Well, that were a bit of a waste of time. I thought this was a shopping centre. It says Trinity. We've got here. It's a bloody sixth form. It's college. college. It, yeah. Right in the middle of Halifax. Trinity's at Leeds, isn't it, I think? Oh, yeah, that's where I've got it from. Mm. Oh, well, let's go and see what else we can find. Oh, my God, even more stairs, Lisa. Look. Halifax. The town of stairs. It's on the hill, isn't it? That's the thing. Very hilly, very hilly. Let's go. You're gonna do your rocky bit, Mark, or not? <laughs> you only did two and you started whinging. Oh, this looks like some kind of ah, what's it called? Broadway, Broad Street Plaza. So if you want something to eat in Halifax. There's plenty of choice here, yeah. isn't there? Yeah. And an Andor's, a cheeky Andor's. Beef eater of at Road Mart. And cinema is here as well, isn't it? Yeah, the view. But let's go to Weatherspoons. We know what we're doing there. So we've gone for the free for £14.57 or something weird like that. It used to be free for £9.99, didn't it? Yeah, we've gone for the chicken bites. We've gone for the chicken wings and a nice big 11 inch garlic bread. So it's scram time. So that was the Percy Show. Weather what a weather spoon's that, eh? All right, all right, chicken wings and some garlic bread and some chicken nuggets. And we've just been coming out and we saw a plaque on the wall with a fella's, well, a fella's face on it. He's called Percy Show, believe it or not. Now, the reason why it's famous is because Mr. Percy Shaw of Halifax made cat's eyes in the road made a business out of it so i've just brought mark into the shop because he thought it were a cake shop cool. that's cool it's actually all soap have a look at this fish in the bag goldfish fish in the bag, in a bag. it's rock hard it's soap look at that that's not good that's gonna be one that you can't kill isn't it <laughs> You've got soaps, you've got bath bombs. What's that? Whitby Bay? Yeah, Whitby Bay. What's that smell like? Crabs. No, it doesn't. Smell it? No, it doesn't. Chicken kebab here, what? No, there's not. Stop With garlic it. sauce? No, it's not. Chicken kebab. So I've picked my plate and I've picked a strawberry cupcake, which is a hand soap, for my daughter. What a great idea. I'm going to go and pay for it now. Yeah. So we're just going back into Peace Hall because Mark needs a public convenience. Mm -hmm. And we've just noticed this up there, it looks, it looks, it's a sheep or a ram. Comments below why there's a sheep or a ram hanging like that on the weather vane of Peace Hall in Halifax, if you know, please. These are the giant doors into Peace Hall, and there again is the lamb that we're on about. Yeah, and that says H A L E something, then Fax or Halifax. Oh, Halifax, the old way of probably spelling it, isn't it? And these are made by George Smith and Co. In Glasgow. Yeah. And these just remind me of fried eggs, these flowers. Well, they would do, wouldn't they? Can I find any Donna Kebab on there at all? No, Chinese. And hey, and talking to Chinese, we've not found one. Chinese takeaway every within the town centre. No, so. not one. There was loads down in Congleton, weren't yeah, there? Yeah, so. loads. Ten or eleven, weren't there? So, Halifax, very unexpected. Mm, very, co very time. cosmopolitan. Plenty of bars and restaurants. Yeah, eateries, food places, absolutely full of them. Uh, Peace Hall, it, it's a day there. You want to spend the day at Peace Hall itself. It's absolutely fantastic. The shops are beautiful, it? as you've probably seen on this vlog. I think it's probably underrated. That people mm -hmm. perhaps think I'm not going to Halifax, but there's loads. I mean, we've just skimmed the surface of what there is to look at, and there's so much to look at. Definitely. We've got a Recommend little bit more it. still to do, haven't we? As yeah, well. yeah. But um, we're off back to the van now for uh, get ready for our evening meal, and we'll show you that as well. What it's big, like? Big chunky chips. Wait till you see the size of these chips. <laughs> So we're nearly back at the van. This is the steep hill we were on about when we were coming in. And this is what you'll see if you do come and stop here as a pub yeah. stopover. Don't panic, it's not as bad as it looks. 
bolt. Please don't attempt it in bad weather. Ooh. Oh God, it's gonna be a crash. What about you, Mark? I'm ready for a sit down. Yeah, I'm awesome. We must have walked 12 miles today. <laughs> right, okay. Uh, I don't think it's been quite 12 miles, but I, I must admit I'm ready for a sit down. So we'll get back to the van, get his feet up, and then it's time to go for our evening meal in the Shears Inn. Can't wait. And we've ordered dinner. Are you ready for this? I'm on some braising steak with seasonal veg. Bin Bin Chicken and stuffing, chips and gravy. So if you're ever hungry, you must come here. Do a pub stop over. Really, really friendly people behind the bar. Come in and get some food, and the prices are out of this world. Right, I'm gonna get stuck in. Are you hungry? Yeah, I'm hungry. Let's go for it. A few moments later. Oh, didn't do it, did you? Not quite, nearly. <coughs> nice, wasn't it, that? You, yes. you, you enjoy yours, yeah. Oh, yeah. I've still got half a mile left. Breakfast tomorrow for you. Well, I yeah, that's breakfast, bin lid. <laughs> no, it's good homemade food here. We were just saying that, weren't we? Everything's made fresh, the chips are all cooked. I mean, you've got big chips and stuff there. We're all, everything's cooked fresh and cooked and everything, isn't it? So. And the value, value for money is off the scale. So I can't recommend this. is probably one of the best, best pub stop overs we've ever gone to. the food, to. everything's sort of homemade, like old fashioned, isn't it? It's yeah. I highly recommend, ring, give them a ring before you come, make sure there's space in the car park for you, don't just turn up and make sure you come in and eat and drink in the pub, you won't, you won't be disappointed. Had to do a takeaway because just couldn't finish that last little bit of sandwich so I've got breakfast it's sorted. Half of it, isn't it? Yeah, Ooh, I don't know if we mentioned though but they do do breakfast here uh, Monday, to, Monday to Saturday, mm. um, again fantastic value. So if you ever want in the area of Halifax and you're looking for a good place to come for breakfast, get yourself down here. So we're going to head back to the van now and put a feet up, aren't we? Yeah, let's get a film on, let's get a brew on. And we will see you guys... In the morning. In the morning. Good morning. We were cracking night in the pub last night. We had a really, really nice meal, as you'll have seen. Lisa's still in bed at the minute. It's quite early, but have a look at this. <laughs> Can't believe you've got a camera on there. Um, yeah, mantra sleep centers ease, full blackout, and I don't have to listen to you yapping on it morning because it's got earphones in it. So what's that there then? Is that where you can play music for Yeah, it? that's where I turn it on, and it's got little speakers in it. It's clever, isn't it? So you can listen to it. Total blackout, peace and quiet. So first it must be wireless Bluetooth what you can listen to music with. It is. It's coming from my phone. Oh, that's good, isn't it? So now I suppose I've got to get up, have I? Yeah, make me some spam butties. I'd like to say thank you to Manta Sleeps for sending these eye masks out because they really are going to help in the motorhome, especially when it's summer and the light's coming through really early because I like to have complete darkness and quiet when I'm sleeping. Mark's also been sent a pair so he can try these out. And if you want to know any more about these sleep masks, the information is in the description below. So back on the road after a fantastic stopover in Halifax this weekend. Pub was brilliant, food brilliant. It was, wasn't it? Really nice. Five out of five, ten out of ten, wherever you want to give it. Top marks anyway. The Shears Inn at Halifax. We're just going up this dodgy road now. It's not too bad actually, is it? But I won't like to come up in snow like I've said. Look at this. Woohoo! And then you get round the corner and you've got another one. Mills everywhere. Right, jumping out. Don't worry, no accident. I'm going to avert one. I'm watching him back as we've just uh, seen something we want to show you. I'm not risking another bump, so everyone can wait till I watch him back. Whoa! 
No more bumps. Well done. No more bumps, Not scratches. Yet. No. Can you imagine carried on go through into what is it? Done elm. It's done elm. Yeah. Can no. you imagine if I'd gone right through into there? Yeah. Not a good job that. Yeah, well, we've seen something, haven't we? So. Yeah. Let's get the shoes on and uh, go and see if we can find it. It's a bit of a walk, isn't it? Yeah. The reason for us jumping out of the motorhome, I was just looking on Google Maps and there was something of interest that I wanted to come and see. Might be able to use it on Mark actually after last week's disaster. And, and it's it here. It's called the Halifax Gibbet. It's actually a guillotine from yeah. the 17th century. And it's still got a blade <laughs> in it, Lisa. And it's still here, just sat in the middle of Halifax on its own. Look at that. Wow. That's a bit menacing, isn't it? Look at the blade in it. Wonder how many heads that's cut off. Uh, quite a few, I'd say. Won't get you ready in that, Mark. <laughs> blood on it Lisa. There's not. There is. Give over. Oh! I dare you to. <laughs> Off with your head sir for damaging our motorhome. Look at these steps, how many heads has it had off here? What out isn't it though? Wow. Can you imagine coming up here and that's all the last view that you see? You Look imagine? at that blade. I can't believe it's still sat there like that. Obviously it's been fixed so it can't drop. <laughs> can you imagine if it dropped now? <laughs> well, can you imagine if it dropped when you had your head down there? It definitely wants a bit of work, doesn't it? It's yeah, it's bit... looking a bit tired, isn't it? I Look. honestly don't know if it's original or not. I'm not sure. I but... think it'll be a replica mark, to tell you the truth. Yeah. Might have all happened here like that, but... So we just found out a few more interesting facts. This isn't an original, I'm afraid. Uh, this was rebuilt in 1974 uh, but there was a man who escaped the blade coming down now the story goes if you escape the blade after the pins being pulled out and you get your head out you can go and it was a man called John Lacey back in 1617 he managed to do it but got rearrested in seven years later and he didn't escape that time but look at all these names here are people that have been had their heads taken off and Even the, John Lace in the end. John there, Lace is there, he yeah. come back for something else, didn't he? Yeah. yeah. But the thing is, I'm, I'm just looking at that. Things like George Fairbank and Anna, his illegitimate daughter. That's harsh, isn't it? Mm. And some women don't even get the name on. They're just the wife of Peter Harrison of Bradford. <laughs> and that's how heavy it was. He needed an horse on the pulley system to, pull, to lift it up because it must have been really heavy, that. And it must have run in like a slide, that, and then dropped down. Well, they do just cut the rope and then it comes down. The pin, they said. Where was the pin oh, there or Oh, that's something? the pin, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, he must be the pin if, master. If they lie on your back, though, you're not going to go running off, are you? Is he on his back or on, on his, his front? On his front. It? Yeah. Wow, yeah. So that is a Halifax gibbet. Right, we've just seen a Dunelm, so we've just done a little bit of a modification for Mark. What's been going off, Mark? I've just bought this seat foam, memory foam seat base pad. Um, just to put under there, just to make it a bit more comfier when you're Your you back drive. and bum's been hurting, aren't you, when you've been yeah, driving? a little bit. I, when, it, when it's been for a while, I struggle, so that goes on there. So let's see if that's going to make it any more uh, comfortable if you when yeah. you're driving. Yeah, How's better. that? Yeah, it's a bit better. better. Yeah, yeah, a bit better. Nothing yeah. worse than numb bum. Numb bum. <laughs> oh, no, yeah, it's, it is better now. Like, yeah. Yeah, so that's been Halifax. We've had a lovely time, haven't we? Yeah, it's been it's been really nice. It's uh, a really nice town. There's lots to see and do. So many places to eat. Lots of bars and restaurants. Loads of concerts coming up this year, from what I've seen. We'll definitely be coming back to here. Uh, the pub stopover was absolutely fantastic. We can't we go on about that enough. Yeah, yeah, make sure you get yourself down there and check the awesome food out down yeah, this year. Yeah, really, it's really, really nice. Good, homemade food. Not very many places do homemade food now, We were is just there? saying last night, weren't we, about the homemade food, that even yeah. the chips are cooked, cooked potatoes, mm. cut them up fresh and do them for chips. So. I'd just like to say a big thank you to Sylvia Page, one of our subscribers, who sent us a super thanks regarding our not so good um accident last week your support will go towards a van uh, which is booked in soon for for being fixed so we'll document that when it's in the body shop being repaired mm. anyway we'll leave it there for now but for now we'll catch you on the next one